so right now we're going to be doing the mom tag, and this is my mom, Nicole. Hey, guys. Um, so we're going to start. So the first question is, what was I like as a child? Fun. Very shy, um, but fun. Always into, like, of course, makeup and girl pink stuff. Okay, um, number two is, what do you think of me making YouTube videos? I think it's amazing because you can touch people's hearts, but I also think that... Um, we miss you as part of our family. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, number three is, what's something funny I did when I was younger? We bought her a Barbie Jeep for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my whole family mm -hmm. over. Um, we were videotaping it, and she got in there. She was probably like two. She had just turned two or just turned three. And she hit the curb, and all of a sudden she looks up, and she looks at everybody, and she goes, oh, and she said the F word. And then everybody looked at me like it was my fault. Yeah. That was fun. Because she, like, cusses a lot. But, like, I just do. for, like, fun. But, like, not... Okay, never mind. Um, number four is, have you learned anything about makeup slash beauty from me? No, you learned it all from me, sister. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> um, number five is, what's a weird habit of mine? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> what? Weird habit is she decides she's going to, for the last couple of years, play the mom role. So every night when we all get ready to go to bed, she is the one to walk around, check all the windows, all the doors, make sure they're all locked, make sure, and if she goes back upstairs and thinks she forgot something, she'll do the whole routine again. Yep. I have to make sure every door is locked. And every stuff. door, and make sure the stick is in the sliding glass door. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just scared that someone's going to, like, come at the night and, like... And then when us. we pull out, when we're leaving, like, to go somewhere, I have to sit there in the driveway until the garage door shuts all the way to make sure that it shut and nobody ran in there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Because you learned that from Oprah. I did learn that from Oprah. Yeah. Um, number six is, if you had to rename your daughter, what would your name... What would you name her? I would not rename you. I am absolutely thrilled with the name Saray. I don't think a lot of people have that name and I'm perfectly content with that. No. Don't rename. you like Taya or Layla? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, okay. I do like those names, but not for my Saray. Oh, okay. Um, when you guys go out to eat, what does she order? Like what kind of food? Like just any. Like if I go out to eat, like... So if food? we go to Mexican food, she gets a bean and cheese burrito. How boring, right? Um, and if we go to McDonald's, she gets Depends. a variety of things. So sometimes she'll get like a McChicken sandwich. Um, she is absolutely addicted to the yogurt parfaits at McDonald's. So we have to go there and I usually buy like six at a time. And finally they were like, um, excuse me, is this all you ever eat? And I'm like, no, <laughs> it's for my daughter for breakfast. <laughs> um, so number eight is what is one thing you wish you would do? Wish I would do or which you What would is do? one thing you wish she would do, like me? Hmm. I'd probably have to say be nicer to your brother. And hang out with the family a little He's bit. He's a little turd. I know, but I think that for eleven years you begged and pleaded and cried about having a sibling and now you got a sister. one. Okay, I had no a control sister. over that. You can blame your father. Yeah. We can talk about that on Father's Day. You guys should, mm, mm -hmm. you guys should have like switched your like sperm things and then make them all like girls. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> um, number nine is what's something I do that annoys you? Can we talk about when you eat? <laughs> so I'll tell you. Um, when when Saray eats. She always snorts like a pig or something. I don't know. So she'll eat and then she'll go. <clears throat> and I'm like, what is wrong? I got something in my throat. What do you have in your throat? I don't know. It just always feels like something's in my throat, Mom. I'm like, okay. And then all of a sudden she go. <clears throat> I'm like, what are you doing? Like, go blow your nose. You know, I thought that that was on her pet peeves video. Like, no. It, yeah. You said it in your puppy video. No, I was just like sniffling. Like, yeah. She does that when she eats. She sniffles. Are you calling me a hypocrite? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. But then you're like... <clears throat> I don't know, I just have like... Oh, I don't know. Okay, um... 
Number 10 is what something I obsess over. What don't you obsess over? <laughs> She's very OCD. Um, so definitely obsess over YouTube um, and making sure that she is consistent and puts out like great quality videos and on a consistent basis. So that's one thing that our family has to work around is her YouTube video um, world. So um, certain days she has to go home and make videos and she won't want to go do anything um, except for those. And then that also pertains to all of the other stuff that falls into so... Like, your room has to be a certain way, and clothes have to be a certain way, so, yeah. I agree. Um, number 11 is, where would you like to see me in 10 years? I would like to see you achieving your dreams, where whatever <clears throat> they are. So, I know that my goals have changed throughout the years, and I know that yours will change. Um, but if I had to say where I'd want to see you. I would like to see you graduated with your degree by then um, and your doctorate because I, I know that you want to be a uh, dentist and so um, hopefully that you have your practice and we're all set up. Mm -hmm. um, number 12 is when were you most proud of me? I know this sounds cheesy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know this totally sounds cheesy but honestly um, I always think of like what's the best age I liked her at, what are her best accomplishments, and every day she comes up with something that just kind of puts a smile on my face and makes me proud. So, <laughs> did you see that? Did you see? Her head just got bigger. It just went, <laughs> sure did. Um, so truly, like not to be cheesy, but she never ceases to amaze me. It's like one time I'm proud of her for something, I think she can't top it, she's on to the next, so. Oh, thanks. Um, number 13 is, what's the worst thing I've ever done? I'm an angel child? No. Don't believe it. Not a child. <laughs> what is the worst thing you've ever done? Do you even know? Mm. The worst thing that she's ever done that she's actually told me about that I was totally grossed out about is she told me that when she was little and went to daycare she used to pick her nose and wipe it everywhere. And then she'd go back the next day and see, and they were all dried. That's probably the worst thing you've ever done. <laughs> you said it, not me. Ew. Okay, so basically, never mind. I'm not going to even go into yeah. that. I'm not going into that. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I have eyeliner on my hand. Um, um, <laughs> number 14, what's your favorite moment of us together? Universal Studios. I would, yeah, I would have to say our times when we um, left Washington to Arizona, we lived there for a few years, and we had great um, connection, and it was fun, and I was actually cool back then to her, and so I um, I definitely miss that relationship, <clears throat> being that I'm not so cool anymore, and I everything is, I'm going through a midlife crisis, so if I want something, <laughs> if I want a pair of... What? Uh, You're like... Oh, no, I said it's sunny out. We very rarely have sun know, here in Seattle. Like Stop. We barely, rarely have sun here in Seattle. I said, oh, I need a pair of sunglasses. She goes, Mom, you going through a midlife crisis? What's wrong with you? No, because, okay, one day she was like, I want to get a pair of Toms and Vans. And I'm like, like, I don't know. Am I really that old? Like, I can't wear those things? I so know. I told her I'd buy some Converse, right? But, That's um, weird. No, but um, I think the funnest times were um, the road trips down and being able to have that those genuine connections and conversations and... Um, her still feeling like I am the world and that whatever I said went and there was no questions and now um, it's no, changed. I'm smart. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, number um, um, 15 is how was I in school? Always has been and always will be. Uh, 4.0 um, consistently exceeds all teachers' expectations. Great quality work. Um, that's an expectation that I have. It started kind of in kindergarten. She came home and she wrote her name and it was really sloppy and I made her erase it and I told her, Saray, you will rewrite this until it's nice and you will do this to every single paper because this is a reflection of you. And she really took that and she's done very well. Yep. <laughs> well, 4.0. <clears throat> yeah. Um, number 16 is what would you change if you could raise me again? Her attitude. I don't have an attitude. Heard that? 
<laughs> um, what would I change? Um, I would change the length of time between her and her brother. Um, I feel like at that point when... Or it could have been his sister because he wanted three kids. So I think that if it would have been way worse if I had a girl because she's the princess and had she had to compete with another girl, it would have been like World War Three. So, no. Um, but I think that I would change the length of time between you two um, because I feel like you were 11 when he was born and that pushed us apart. And we were you were the only child for so long in the center of my world that... There was great opportunities. Obviously, you took that time and channeled it through YouTube, which has made you, you know, really great. But um, I miss that genuine connection about that. Before YouTube or? I miss, uh, no, before. Um, Nico. Before Nico. Um, your, your and I's relationship was much closer, but because mm -hmm. I have to spend so much time tending to a baby, and it's getting older. <coughs> yeah. I mean, he's getting older, so it's getting easier. But we lost that closeness, and I want to get that back. Um, <laughs> um, 17, describe my perfect type of guy. There's not a perfect type of guy for her. She can always <laughs> find something wrong with somebody. Um. I'm picky. Very I picky. high standards, too. Very. And although, um, that can be a detriment, I'm also, um, proud of that because I think that if you don't have high standards and you don't have high expectations, then, um, it won't be a genuine great you know, relationship. So, perfect guy for Saray. Um, Dickie Simmons. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say that. Has his own money because he needs to be on her level. She's very successful, not money-wise, but I'm just saying successful in general. Um, and have goals and be a great person, give back to the community. Um, has to have a nice bod. <laughs> okay, well... Um, my battery's about to die, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I will be having a Father's Day video on Father's Day, the dad tag or whatever, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Have a great day. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for having me.